Hello everyone, today we are going to use iMovie and do a little bit of simple editing um, just to try and make our music videos. And I'll go through nice and slowly so everything should be nice and easy for you to understand. First up, please click on iMovie, which is the purple logo with the star. And here you can see other projects that I've made. If you've already started making a project, just simply click on that project and it will open up on your phone or tablet. But for now, I'm going to click on this cross in the top left, and this means make a new project. So click on here and I'm going to make a movie, which is the top option. And the first thing you need to do is you need to select the files you'll be using. So I'll keep it nice and simple. I'll get some videos of my, my daughter doing a segue. Anything else I've got that might be good? As you can see, lots of boring videos for me here. Uh, here we go, my daughter riding a bicycle as well. So, when you've done all this, when you've clicked on all of the items you would like, please click on the bottom, it says Create Movie. And here we can see all of the files are in the, the order that we selected them. But I'm just going to turn my phone the other way, so it's a bit easier to see. So you can turn your phone to the side. Maybe I want this file at the beginning. So if I hold it down, I can now move this to the beginning here. So this is now my first shot. Okay, oh, that's nice. Her riding a bicycle and then goes to the Segway. Okay, but maybe now I want this shot to be next. So once again, click and hold until it does this and then simply drag it into the position. That you want it to be. Okay, so let's look at the beginning here. Okay, that's nice, but maybe this shot is a little bit too long. I don't need it to be this long. So if I click on each shot like this, we get all of these options at the bottom. And let's go through these one by one. So hopefully you can see this white line coming down the middle of the shot. If I click on the scissors here, I get lots of different options. One of them is split. Can you see this on the left hand side? If I click here, this will now make two shots and I can hold on to the end and make them longer and shorter. But maybe I don't need this one. And then on this side, I'll click on delete. So now I've got a nice shorter version of this and here oh that's nice with Nagoya Castle in the background and again I want to finish it about there so I click on here and once again I can click split around the yellow bit and delete okay so next up we got the scissors here selected if we click on the next one we can now change the speed Going down here, oh, excuse me, scrolling down here makes it very, very slow. Scrolling up here will make it much, much faster. Okay, so that one's nice and easy. Next up, we've got this sound option. And because we're making a music video, it might be a good idea to turn the sound down from all of your shots. Because we're not going to be able to hear them anyway. So just go through your shots and turn the sound down. Okay, so that was the third option there. The fourth one, we were not going to need. This is to make a title. So there are lots of standard things we can do. I don't think we need to worry about that for this project. So please don't worry about this, unless you want to add subtitles or something that might be fun, or if you have characters speaking, you want to make it a bit clearer. If you want to do this, let me know and I'll make another video about how to add titles. And the last one is maybe the most difficult. These three circles, we can now change the color and the grade 
on here. So if you wanted to have it black and white, we could just do that with a click of a button or blue or a bit more orangey like this or kind of vintage style. I quite like that vintage. Let's go for that, huh? Okay, so now, excuse me, I shouldn't have done that there. Let's just scroll back to the beginning and we can push play. Okay, that's looking okay. My shots are in a nice order. So, in between the shots, we have this other square here. Can you see? And what we can, this is called the cut. And we can do different things to this edit. At the moment, there's nothing. So it just jumps from one to the next. A dissolve means that the two shots will fade together like this. This is a dissolve. Okay, that's quite nice, isn't it? Or you can do a wipe, where one shot kind of takes over the screen very slowly. So you'll see that here. This is called a wipe. So here we have a, a dissolve, also known as a crossfade. And here we have a wipe. You might see this in Star Wars movies, right? The wipes. And there's lots of different things you can do here. Um, you can even add different themed ones. So, ooh, that's quite cool. Right? Dip to black and then come back. Okay. And then at the last here, we've got the, the vintage style we did. So this all looks very nice. I'm happy with the shots. But obviously for a music video, there's something missing, which is the music. We need to add some music on here. So on the left-hand side, it says done plus and a play button. If you click on the plus sign, you will get access to this as well. So click on audio and what you can do is you can add some sound effects. There'll be a built-in library that you can choose some sound effects if you'd like to. And my music, this will go to your iTunes. Now, I don't have many songs on my iTunes. I don't listen to much music. But yeah, please select the song you'll be using in your project. And it can be a Japanese song if you like. That's not a problem. But what I'm going to do, so I don't get, you know, told off by copyright, I've made my own song. So I'm just going to import that instead. Okay, so let's play this. So as you can see, the music is now underneath the track. Again, I can play around with this music. So can you hear at the beginning, it's silent for a couple of seconds. So it starts there. So about here. And once again, I can split this, delete this bit here, and it should start straight away. So obviously my video is not as fun as what your music video will be, but hopefully this has given you some idea about how you can play around with iMovie to make your music video. When you're finished, simply click on done at the top up here, and it has now saved your project to your iPhone. If you want to export this as a movie, in the middle, this square with an arrow pointing up, click on this and you've got lots of different options you can do. You can save it to your files on your phone or you can export the project and send it to me via email. OK, maybe I'll make another uh, another uh, video about how to do this. But for now, I'm just going to save the video onto my phone. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go for HD 720. It takes a little bit of time, but that will then save your video for you. OK, I hope that was nice and clear. If you do have any questions, please let me know. And I'm really looking forward to watching your music videos, which I'm sure will be much, much better than mine. Good luck.